Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. You join us in a special tasting episode with the very wise James Wise again. This time in his new um, operation called Silkies. That's the one, man. two today these are on the stalls so we've got one from assembly it's a colombian called ortega and we got one by clemson's it's called kirinaga aa Clemson's? Let's do it. it. Smells good. Clean. I can smell the fruitiness already. A lot of berries. Sweet as, as can be, right? That's yep. the upper limits of sweetness in my book. That is very nice. It's just berries, berries and more berries. That's, that's probably one of the better Kenyans I've had this year, if not one of the best. This is it, this year, what is going on? Kenyans are acting weird. I don't know man, maybe it's just the, the first couple of crops that are coming through. Well, I just think the juiciness that comes through is what I have loved about Kenyans over the years, that, that fruit punch. Yeah, I normally find as a coffee cools, it either gets better or it gets a lot worse. Mm -hmm. It kind of depends on how good the coffee is um, and yeah. You know, it's getting better. Yeah. The cleanness of the body, is that due to the, the brew method or will you get that feel across all brew methods? Um, so yeah, it will be down to, to brew method in most cases. Um, so like a Chemex, it's got a real thick filter paper, um, really tight, so it takes a lot of the lipids. Lipids are like one of the oils. On to the next one. The, the Colombians, they, they collectively for me have this caramel flavor. Yeah. That's I think maybe that's one of the traditional flavors that come with Colombians. But yeah, I, I mean, before this year, I probably wouldn't have said Colombians were some of my favorite coffees, but, but yeah, too. this year has like has really changed it for me. Me too. They were the sort of session coffee, the same yeah, exactly. coffee. Yeah, you drink loads of them and yeah, you, you kind of, they were good, but never really that like jaw dropping. And then this year just, yeah, came out of nowhere and just killed it. Wow, that's lovely. Slight kind of tartness there that mm. that gives it a, a complexity that it's just it's not just sweet sweet there's a beautiful sort of yeah complexity is all i can think of right now but it's got that very subtle biting acidity to the finish there so in balance though with the sweetness because that that caramel sweetness could overpower the tartness could oh any 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 one of the things that's going on in there could take over and yeah. they're not, they're all just they're all, dancing. Together. Yeah, they're kind of, if, if you were to take one of those elements and put it somewhere else, you'd consider it unbalanced. But because everything in there is, is pretty much pushed to the max, it's like max sweetness, like real good body, a lot of acids, it's just, yeah, it all just balances itself out in a, in a really good way. So two great coffees there. 